This tutorial will show a simple part transfer from head 1, to head 2. I have a program finished with all cutting on head 1, ready to be transferred to head 2. Start, by going to the program page, with the desired program open for editing. The part I'm transferring, is shown in this drawing. I have already programmed the right side of the part, including all ID and OD work. I don't want to clamp on this OD and head 2, that could damage the threads. So, I'll need to use ID jaws, clamping on this 2.5 inch ID. To select the required jaws, highlight the top line of the program, choose the right hand menu button, then go to setup data. Highlight the jaw number under turning spindle 2, and choose chuck jaw data. In chuck jaw data, I can see I have jaw set number 14, set up for clamping on the 2.5 inch ID. Going back to the program, I'll enter 14 for the jaws on head 2, with a grip diameter of 2.5 inches. Save the changes by selecting setup end. Note unit number 1, shown here in the program. This unit tells me this section of the program handles cutting on the number 1, left side, spindle of the machine. We are going to now transfer the part to the number 2, right side, spindle of the machine. At the bottom of the program, start a new unit. Select the triple arrow menu key. Select transfer workpiece. I'll open the graphical help page to help explain this function. There are four different transfer types. Chuck work is to move a part from one chuck to the other in either direction. Bar loop is usually used when you are making multiple parts from a single bar. Bar loop can also be used to work many different stages of a part such as drilling multiple holes along the length of a very long part. T-spindle move is used when you want to position the second spindle to different locations during the machining of a part. No move is used to just change the Z or C offset for a part with no movement at all. We're going to use chuck work. Transfer direction is head 1 to head 2. The spindle mode setting is very flexible. Spindle stop just stops the spindle wherever it happens to be, with no consideration to orientation. Forward and reverse, enable transfer with both spindles running at a speed set in parameter TC58. With orient, both spindles will be oriented before transfer to maintain rough alignment during transfer. C-axis position transfer, is a more precise and flexible way to hold position alignment during transfer. Keep, is mostly used during multiple bar loop transfers. When a bar loop transfer is being used to drill or mill along a long part, keep saves time by not doing anything with the spindles during transfer. Since my part is a simple turning part, with no features to align, I'll just use spindle stop. Push, is a great feature to make sure a part is bottomed out in the receiving chuck during transfer. When used, the spindles will come together under load during transfer. This type of transfer eliminates any chance of air gaps during transfer and is considered the most precise. I can select thrust setting, to control the amount of thrust used during the push cycle if desired. I'll just select push, to use the default value set in parameters. Chucking position 1, under W1, is where the axis carrying the second spindle moves to in the transfer. During setup, this position should be taught by moving the axis up until the second spindle chuck bottoms out on the piece, with a slight load. Then selecting transfer position. When you click on OK, the current position of the second spindle axis is put into the W1 field. Chucking position 2, under W2, is where the part is returned to. This is usually the second spindle home position or zero. It can be entered manually or it can be taught using the same method used for chucking position 1. If you enter the value manually, you must calculate the new Z offset. If you use teach, the offset is calculated and entered for you. Either way, the new Z offset is the old Z offset, set in setup data at the top of the program. Plus, the amount of movement shown in chucking position 1 under W1. This new Z offset, is the zero offset used for all cutting on head 2. It's important to understand, in Maze of Troll, the part zero point is always the same, usually the right hand side of the part, on both heads. Even when zero is located inside the chuck on head two. No other fields are required for a chuck work transfer. 
The last thing we have to do is tell the control we are now working on head 2. This is done by selecting the three arrows button. Then select head. Type of operation refers to single, for an individual side, either head 1 or head 2. Synchronized, when the part is held in both chucks, with either head 1 or head 2 as the command spindle. In our case, I'll use single, with the part in head 2. And that's it. We're ready to program the second side of the part in head 2.